Hi Gemini, welcome to this reading. You might find this resonates more if Gemini is your sun or rising sign. So let's have a look and see the messages that Spirit would like, would like you to know at this time. Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, the Empress reversed, the Magician in reverse, Judgment reversed, we have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, the Hermit in reverse, the Knight of Cups reversed, and the Five of Pentacles upright. This makes a lot of sense. Um, every single card is reversed except the Five of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Pentacles upright on the back, and um, we have the Ten of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So I'm seeing a couple of very strong messages here. The first, and maybe both will resonate with you, maybe just one or the other. The first is that your person um, is going through something with money financially. It could be that they've lost their job. Um, it could be that maybe they've encountered an unexpected um, expense, something like that. But not, you know, like something pretty serious, something that's that's really um, set them back here. They're feeling a little bit powerless with the magician in reverse. It's like they're saying, well, how how do I fix this? What do I do? Um, also, you know, again, we've got this Knight of Cups who we've been seeing now for, you know, about a week and a half. So they're also saying... How do they come forward and express their feelings? So for some of you, your person could be um, quite proud of what they've accomplished in life. You know, their 3D material things. And if they they feel that they've received some kind of a knock in that sense, it might be knocking their confidence. And they're saying, well, how can I come forward now when I'm struggling? You know, that sort of thing. Um, for others of you, it's that they're concerned about maybe money and also being more open with you about this about their feelings um i'm also seeing so the other storyline is that somebody has left um a significant situation like a long-term <clears throat> excuse me a long-term relationship a long-term partnership so if this is if it's a third party situation and this is your person they could be saying what you don't see yet with the sun in reverse is that they're now out here single you know, possibly they stepped away from a husband, a wife, a mother or father of their child. It's something with the hermit they were, that they were thinking about for a long time. Now they have taken action. If this is your connection and your person has stepped away, has left, they are not feeling good, you know, without you. We end here with the five of coins. So um, it could be that they're saying something between you hasn't been working. So you, you've kind of fallen into this separation, but it, it doesn't look like they've moved on. They don't seem to be particularly happy. And actually with judgment, it's almost like they're saying, well, what could we do to maybe bring this back around, to have a rebirth, to have another go? So if you haven't heard from them for a while, I think it's because they haven't come up with the answer yet. Um, and there may be more in the earlier stages of perhaps grieving, of releasing um, and healing. But something that something has become destabilized for your person so something to do with a foundation um and their feelings you know this is coming up because it's very significant for your person and it's kind of having a very real knock-on effect in their life but also this this knight of cups it feels like the anomaly here because this is a very um it's like a fun energy it's more like harsh it's not serious it's let's go out let's have a good time it's flirtation it's romance so they are still very much thinking about you and about this connection but um yeah their confidence has been knocked a little so let's let's have more of a look into this. We have Libra, Taurus, uh, Gemini, Virgo, Leo as well. Um, so you could be dealing with any of those signs or those signs might be relevant. Okay, so tell me about the Queen of Pentacles, please, with the Ten of Pentacles. Some of them, it looks like they have left or might be leaving someone um, to be with you. And it's almost like this person, even if they were married to you or living with somebody, for a long time they've been distant from that person and they've been distant from you, really thinking about, you know, what would make them happy, what they should do. Tell us about the Ten of Coins, Queen of Coins. Yeah, Three of Swords, absolutely. There's been some, um, something painful has happened here. It's been emotionally painful, um, psychologically as well. Your person's been having lots of, of thoughts. Maybe there have been difficult words with this Queen of Pentacles. And again, if 
if the Queen of Pentacles is you, um, you would know, you know, it hasn't maybe been easy recently and there's been some pain here, some heartbreak. Tell me about the Empress and the Hermit, please. If you've been waiting for your person and you have kind of pulled back and to them it seems like you're not waiting anymore, it's almost like it's given them the impetus to, to take a bit of action, to come forward because they're realising that it's on them now, you know, the onus is on them and if they don't move things forward, well, you will keep moving forward, you know, and they might lose you. And nobody wants to lose their empress or their emperor. Okay, we have the five of swords in the reverse. Yes. Okay. So there has been a period of inactivity. Five is a number of change. And we did see 55 in the reading on Monday as well. So it's almost like your, your person has been spending a long time needing to make a decision, overthinking. That became very stressful. So finally, they've decided, right, choosing one thing, one or the other, cannot be worse than how it feels to be inactive, to be stagnant, to be stressing myself out in my mind. So they've made a decision. The decision seems to be to move forward. And yes, it's it's pretty scary. Um, maybe something unexpected has even happened along the way. But whatever your situation, they're wanting this, this rebirth, this reconnection with you. So this tells me there's a pre-existing connection here, whether it's you've had a full-blown relationship, um, even a marriage, or there's a soul connection, you know, a familiarity, a recognition from previous lifetimes. They're wanting another go. Yeah, the Queen of Wands, absolutely. You excite your person in a way that, that nobody has, you know, no, maybe for a long time, maybe not ever. And this a Queen of Wands, whether you are a woman or a man, it's, it's you know, the energy of the Queen. So your person sees you as um, a caregiver, a life giver to others. Maybe you're quite literally in a caring role in, in terms of work. But regardless of that, it's really more about your energy. Um, when people are around you, when they speak with you, you... It's like you um, you sort of give them life. Even if you're not intending to, people leave your presence feeling strong, positive, motivated, good about themselves, healed. Um, your person sees you as being very charismatic, very beautiful. But look how, you see how this face is um, implanted sort of on a tree here. A tree is very rooted, very grounded. So sometimes the Queen of Wands, she is very exciting, but she's here, she's there. You can't kind of grab a hold of her. In this case, your person's saying, maybe it took them a while to understand that, that a person can be both charismatic, dynamic, um, they can, you know, be someone who makes moves in their life, but they can also, at the same time, be stable, they can be committed. Um, they, they might have been a bit scared of your, your sort of passionate energy here um, for a while. But yes, it, it's, you know, you are the one that they're looking at right now. And we have a six of wands. So they want to move forward. They want success with you, victory. Um, <clears throat> these images are making me feel like all of the naysayers, they're sort of telling them to get lost. They don't want to hear what they have to say. I also, um, you know, the six of wands can be a card, like a proposal. So obviously that won't be for everybody, depending on your situation. But they're wanting something more serious with you here. And this has been a long, long time coming, I'm hearing. Um, so it could be that you have been talking on and off and that's lasted for, for a really long time. Or um, you've been casually dating, but things haven't been stepped up to the next level. <clears throat> okay. They might also feel that in some way you are in the spotlight and you get lots of recognition, lots of attention. See, look, look at all these eyes. It's like you have so many eyes on you. I do feel that your person... Whether you know it or not, they are one of <laughs> they are one of the eyes watching you. There's a I'm sure there's a, a novel that talks about eyes. Is it um The Handmaid's Tale? Does is that the, the book um that talks about eyes, the eye, you know, the like the sort of the government watching? Was it, it's not 1984. I think it might be the, high, the Handmaid's Tale. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm watching very closely. Okay, tell, them, tell me about the Magician, please, and the Knight of Cups. The Moon, Pisces Energy. 
and the King of Swords. Do you see what I mean? They have a truth that they need to speak that they've been keeping hidden here. And they're afraid to speak this truth. I mean, look at this guy. So it looks to me like he's making some sort of, um, you know, he's doing an honorable, honorable um, act of suicide here or something, you know, like on the battlefield. But obviously it's painful. So it's like your person has got to really sum up some courage here. Not because having this conversation is going to be painful, but it's a scary thought um, for them. So let's go deeper. Let's have a look exactly at what it is they would like to say here. And if your person lied to you in the past, whether it was a direct lie, um, they just neglected to tell you something that really they should have done, or like a half truth, something like that, I think it was because of fear. And that's not me saying, oh, it's okay then, but it does seem to be because of fear. Look at this, the King of Cups. So what they want to tell you is that they love you. Um, and I feel that they have been, been through some sort of death here, if you can, you know, see the skeleton here. Um, a death and a rebirth. So possibly some Scorpio energy, but yeah, your person has incredibly deep feelings for you. In fact, most likely full-blown love. We've got the Four of Cups on the back. So they've seen, they've known right from the start that this is a very, very special connection. It may have taken them a moment to figure out what it was exactly about your connection, but they do understand. Okay, tell us about judgment and the Five of Pentacles. So if you're not speaking, if there's absolutely no communication and you're in the cold, you know, both out in the cold from one another, regardless who, of who, you know, created this distance, they are definitely wanting a reconnection here. We have, yeah, absolutely, the Six of Swords in the reverse. They want to make a physical return back to you. So maybe they even want to get in a car and drive to see you or catch a flight or something like that. And if you look at this depiction, Normally, the Six of Swords, you're moving on from stress, drama, maybe you're physically moving home to somewhere more peaceful. But look, this person's walking on knives. It's incredibly painful. So this person moving away from you, it did not bring them the peace, the harmony that maybe, um, you know, it, they thought it was going to help them to stop overthinking. That didn't work. And they're wanting to come back towards you. Absolutely. With a good offer here the ace of pentacles you might be receiving a message from them we do have that skull so death again and see how it has the number one so a new beginning yeah they're definitely watching you they might be very sad um, because they see you speaking with lots of people you know bringing that really sort of delicious queen of wands energy um, and giving that to others but now they're not part of, of that circle anymore If you um, had a home together, you see it's upside down. <clears throat> so maybe they left or maybe there's been something that's happened that needs fixing. We've got a knife up here talking about, if you think of the Ace of Swords, communication. This is making me think of like uh, holly or mistletoe. So this could happen around Christmas time. So yeah, we could go on. <laughs> They're running around like a headless chicken without you. Um, but yeah, your person is um, is really really trying to figure out a way really desiring to um not just communicate not just move this forward but to ground your connection and to to try and step up and be more of who they really are to speak their truth okay so let's keep going let's get some more messages here so from my channeled messages <clears throat> Okay, so we have no, if it's not clear what this is about by the time I finished with this deck, I will go in and clarify. Okay, what other messages please, Spirit? What do you want? So they might be worried that at this point you're going to say um, that what you what <laughs> what you want is not them. Um, maybe if you've, you've had many arguments or it's been a struggle or they they told you a pretty significant lie or they took too long that sort of thing. Maybe they told you no at some point. Maybe they pushed you away. Um, you know, and they're worried that you, you have gone. They pushed you and you walked off. 
he slash she isn't good enough for you. So for some of you, if you're in a relationship, a partnership, your person is watching you and they're saying this person, you know, you're an empress. This person is not an emperor. They, they do not deserve to be with you. So there could possibly be a bit of jealousy. If, you don't, if you're single, then it's really whoever they see you speaking with quite often. Um, if you have like a, a really good friend or um, even if it's like a family member, they, they feel like whoever is around you is maybe not supportive enough or on your level. Or um, well, basically they're saying that that person is not them. So that person is not good enough for you. now I see I've settled my whole life exactly and um, that's the thing with that queen of pentacles your person I feel before they met you this won't be for all of you but for those of you whose person is with someone before they met you they met someone in the 3d um, and they settled with this person built a life and maybe they were content maybe they weren't but you came along and <laughs> my goodness now it's it's really highlighted to them everything that they're missing um and i don't think they were necessarily expecting to meet you maybe you weren't expecting to meet them and it, it's really brought some i suppose tough realizations to fo into focus let's write a book together and i was just talking about books so that's really interesting but um maybe some of you are writers but for me as well this is talking about um you know having many experiences together creating enough memories that you could sit down in you know in years to come and write a book of, of everything you've been through together you're my world okay let's see what's on the back i've been so patient you know my feelings about this card really every time makes me laugh because you know maybe they have been patient but i know you guys have been patient as well Okay, so let's, before we move on, let's just clarify this no to get a really good sense of what they're saying no to. Okay, so give us a message for no, please, spirit. No to the devil, nice, okay. So they're saying no to overthinking no more they're saying no to being um persuaded misguided misled by others they're saying no to toxic behaviors addictions patterns um <clears throat> excuse me so essentially they're just saying yes to making better choices so i'm really glad we clarified that let's move to the lover's oracle deck okay can we get three cards please from this person to my viewer We have playfulness, laughter is the best therapy, have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. Yeah, so when your person comes back around, you know, if you had a very long connection, they might come in with a smaller energy, they might seem playful, like they're trying to gauge how happy are you to hear from them. Maybe they're going to say, let's do something together, let's go and have some fun together. So not coming in to sort of heavy uh, and strong initially. If as I said, this is someone you have had a, a commitment with, a relationship with. It could be that a more light-hearted energy is going to help you overcome any obstacles that may have come up. We have, don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So this person might be saying, you know, <clears throat> especially if there's someone else here, don't do things that you feel you have to do. Do what's best for you. You are this queen of wands. You deserve to be happy, you know, and the empress, you deserve someone who can give you everything back that you are putting out into the world. Um, I do also think this is what your person is doing, you know, saying no to the devil. They're saying, no, I'm not going to be guided by expectations of others or um, I'm not going to do things because I feel it's my duty and my responsibility or because I feel guilty. Okay, and the last card. <clears throat> Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see clearly, 
In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Okay, so again, this is a card of almost trying to release any burdens from the past. And um, it's not about sort of forgiving and forgetting. Um, Well, my mind has just gone blank. <laughs> it's not about forgiving and forgetting. It's about um, learning from the experiences um, and taking those lessons with you, but not carrying the burdens, not carrying the pain. I think it was that forgiving and forgetting. I mean, essentially, letting go is kind of forgiving. But what I mean is uh, it's more about doing it for yourself. It's not about just giving every single person a free pass, you know. But you see how sort of carrying heaviness or pain or resentment, it doesn't really resonate with this playful energy. So um, there could be some work to do around healing or, or coming into acceptance. It might be that this this healing or this acceptance, it's difficult to complete until you've heard from this person because sometimes it's like hearing their side or hearing them explain something um, or why they did something or how they perceived or interpreted something. That's, that's like the last puzzle piece, you know, and you can go, oh, okay, I see, fine. Now I understand, even if I don't like it. So um, that reconnection could help to, to maybe take, help you take that last step towards releasing. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so can we get some more messages, please, from this person to my viewer? Wow, I just looked up and saw 2222, two, 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 so um, 2222. We have, I feel too much pressure right now. Yeah, this person has been under a lot of pressure and I do feel there's something going on with money as well. Lord of material trouble. Um, yes, how could you still love me after all I've done? You know, this is the thing. It's like they're, they're saying, okay, I need to come in and, and try and be positive and be playful and to see how this goes because I'm not even sure if um, you want me anymore. I'm trying to take responsibility for my actions right now. Please know this. Okay, so like I said, if this person settled down with someone before they met you um, <clears throat> or even if, you know, say you had a relationship and something happened and then you went your separate ways and they've created some kind of commitment and now they're thinking my god what did i do i've i don't know married the rebound or whatever they're trying to um they're trying to deal with this you know maybe to untangle themselves from the situation but to do it in a responsible way i just have to do something else right now please try and understand yeah so we have similar messages from two different decks here Okay, and we have no other compares to you. My heart is telling me just do it. And we have, I see a little part of you in everyone I meet. So they're constantly reminded of you. It's interesting, their heart is saying, go for it, do it now. Now is the perfect time. Their mind is saying, this is not the perfect time because I'm having money troubles. I've got to deal with this other person. I've got myself into this mess that I need to sort out. I don't even know if my person wants me anymore. Um, so you can see that overthinking going on that they're trying to stop. Okay, so before we go, let's um, pull from a couple of other decks just to see what's going on around them and maybe to get some messages for you as well. Okay, so we'll pull from this Archangel deck to see what's been going on with your person and then we'll get a couple of Animal Spirit Guide messages. One for them, one for you. Yeah, look at this. Okay, so we have chakra clearing, call upon me, so Archangel Metatron, to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometric shapes. So your person is going through a cleansing, a clearing out. It could be a spiritual aligning, um, but seriously, on so many levels and layers of their lives. So um, it's probably started in the 3D. Maybe it's even because of a tower moment. Spirit is clearing out things that aren't serving them. So jobs, relationships, maybe it's even a home. And that's obviously impacting them internally. So really clearing out here. And it might feel very scary for your person. But at the end of it, they're going to feel more peaceful and more aligned and freer. You know, they're not carrying a load of heavy baggage with them. Yes, see, we have all is well. 
Everything is happening exactly as it, as it is supposed to with hidden blessings you will soon understand. And the blessing is they're going to be more positive, more in alignment, freer, happier. And we've got a lot of um, purple going on here. So the third eye and crown. Um, so lots and lots of lots of in, um, spiritual um, intervention, a strong connection with their higher selves, with um, their sort of divine guidance team. And we have sensitivity. You are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honour yourself and your feelings. Yeah, so your person might be saying, why is, why is all of this happening? Why is everything going wrong? Why are so many things being taken away from me? And spirit is saying, because we're doing it on purpose um, to help you get into alignment. And your person's feeling a bit fragile because of this. So depending on how um, in tune they are, how awakened they are, um, you know, how sort of spiritual, maybe religious, or how much faith they have, they can either be saying, this will get better, I'm sure this is happening for a reason, or they might be, you know, really, really finding it quite tough with this Five of Pentacles. <clears throat> okay, so let's finish off then with an animal spirit guide message, one for them and one for you. Okay, so can you give us a message for this person, please? Yes, we have Wolverine. It says you're a lot tougher than you think you are. Absolutely. So this person is, this is a lesson that they are finding out and they're really having to draw on that inner strength to get through this, this period of time that they're going through. Okay, and let's get a card for you. Mmm, spider. As I said, some of you could be writers. Trust the creative spark that you're feeling and express it through writing stories that inspire and enlighten. So we've had quite a bit about writing stories, novels today. Even if you don't consider yourself to be a writer, why not, you know, just write something down? Or if you're feeling confused, journaling can help. If you want to be more structured with it, you could have a bullet point list. Um, if it's not writing, maybe it's drawing, painting, sewing, um, baking, gardening. Could be anything, you know, but it's it's, it's about giving yourself a um, creative outlet here. Okay, so thank you everyone for watching. I will do the one question, one card reading now, but if you're leaving us here, um, I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully see you again on Friday where I'll be doing um, a look into maybe what blessings are coming in for you with this connection, um, anything else you need to know, anything that's hidden. Um, so if you're going, I'll see you then. If not, Malvina X. So thank you for your question. Spirit, can you please show us, can you show Malvina, is this connection developing into a full-blown rela relationship or are there concerns holding my person back? So Martina wants to know, is this connection developing into a full-blown relationship or are there concerns holding my person back? Can you give us a card, please? We have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. So right now, it looks like your person might not be putting in as much effort as is required um, for this connection to really develop into a full-blown relationship. So let me see why. Yeah, the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so it could be um, that this person just doesn't feel that they've got enough to give, whether it's um, energy, money, um, Maybe they're fo they have their focus on too many things here, but there's a sense of lack. This connection, it needs a bit more of something in order to grow. And I feel it, it's, your person might feel right now that, that something is being asked of them that they just don't have to give. We have a six of wands on the back. Okay, so it could be, I have to say, that your person isn't in a place where it's a good time for them to give or they're willing to give. The six of wands can be about pride and ego. It could just be, you know, if they're very busy, let's say, focusing on work, they might not have enough time and commitment and attention to give to your relationship to really help it get off the ground. Um, but right now, I feel like the answer is it doesn't seem to be developing into a full-blown relationship at the moment because your person isn't, for one reason or another, able to or isn't giving enough um so it, there's definitely potential but it does require a, a bit more work actually um from both of you so so i don't know how much you know maybe you're giving everything and the other person would need to step up or maybe um there's room for both of you to kind of give a bit more um 
focus to this but yeah i just i just think it needs a bit more definitely more input from your person but your person is saying right now they they can't they could be distracted have lots of people who need their time and attention because the six of wands um is often a card of, of someone being surrounded by lots of people so i would say if i'm honest it looks like it's not necessarily developing right now um it might be worth speaking to your person, you know, or if you know already that they're they're quite distracted doing something else, then I would say that's probably why. Um, so, yeah, I would advise communication and depending on what comes back and what sort of conversation you have, either giving it time or maybe thinking about whether you kind of are looking for something a bit more than this person is able to give. OK, so thank you, everybody. Um, take care and I'll see you on Friday. Bye.